Good evening. You are watching your weekly broadcast on Boris News Network, Morocco Marco Watch, your go to source for local and international economic and financial updates for the week ending March 22nd. In our news today, the Casablanca Stock Exchange closed the week on a slightly negative note. The Mazi Index experienced a decline of 65 basis points, finishing at 12,979 points. Similarly, the Mazi 20 saw a decrease of 0.65% settling at 1,057 points, and the Mazi ESG exhibited a decline of 1.16%, closing at 953 points. With a total trading volume of the week at 816,992,438 their hands. This week's trading session top gainer was SMI experiencing a significant rise of 10.25% to hold 1,570 their hands, Contrary to stock industry, was the top loser of the week after losing 9.74% to retreat to 27.07 their heads. Let's now take a look at where the international markets wrapped up. The Dow Jones gained 1.97% to reach 39,476 points in the same way the S&P 500 spiked 2.29% to end the week at 5,234 points and the FTSE 100 rose by 2.63% to close at 7,931 points. And that's a look at the closing market wrap-up for the week and then Friday, March 22nd. In our highlights today, Morocco is about to enter the next phase of their hand floating following the successful completion of the initial step of widening fluctuation bands. This upcoming phase involves abolishing the tie to the euro dollar currency basket, thereby making the their hands value more contingent on supply and demand. Financial authorities have outlined prerequisites for this transition, with some already fulfilled such as export diversification and record high foreign exchange reserves. From a technical standpoint, the currency market has been operating smoothly for several years. The transition towards a more flexible regime will coincide with inflation targeting, potentially impacting local businesses. The central bank stands ready to intervene in the event of abnormal movements in the foreign exchange market. In addition, Bank al Maghrib has sought the IMF technical assistance to review its forecasts and models and assess banks' ability to support the project. The Durham's value is currently determined by the central bank based on a currency basket consisting of 60% euros and 40% dollars. While the system offers some stability, it does not shield against external shocks. Market operators suggest that the increase in localization of the Moroccan currency market could mitigate such shocks. In 2023, Delta Holding experienced remarkable growth, highlighted by a 12% increase in revenue, reaching an impressive 3.13 billion Moroccan dirhams. Profits soared as well, marking an 11% rise, resulting in a consolidated net income of 218 million, with a consolidated net income group share of 189 million dirhams. Notably, the company made significant strides in reducing financial debt with a 73% decrease on a consolidated basis and a 29% decrease on a social basis. Demonstrating its commitment to ongoing progress, Delta Holden allocated 90 million their heads toward new initiatives. Looking forward to the year 2024, Delta Holden is ready for continued success, boasting a solid order backlog totaling 2.67 billion their heads. Exciting prospects lie ahead with involvement in major national projects such as the African Nations Cup 2025 and the 2030 FIFA World Cup. Additionally, the Board of Directors has put forward a 7.14% increase in dividends for shareholders, reflecting confidence in the company's performance and future prospects. Here's a look now at foreign currencies and major commodities.
And that was all I had for you today. Thank you once again for watching Burst News Financial News coverage. I am Benadi Ashraf. Stay connected, and I'll see you next week.